The upgrades brought by Ferrari aiming to give Red Bull and McLaren tough competition has backfired them. Now they are struggling at every other race track and cherry on top is their strategy. Ferrari went from second best team on the grid to fourth best team in span of just four races. In Silverstone, they ran their four races old spec car to compete with the rivals who were running the latest tech machines. In today's video, we will talk about the factors that let down the hopes of millions of the forces. However, hopes are high at Marnello and Ferrari is still aiming to come back for a title fight. Ferrari introduced the first package of updates at Imola GP. Since then, Ferraris are trying to take out the maximum performance and still struggling. At Imola GP, unlike Miami GP, which gave McLaren's instant results, the same quite didn't happen with Ferrari, not giving any major gains. Then Monaco GP happened, where slow tight corners are in majority, which helped Ferrari to win the race. However, high speed corners of Canada showed the true picture of Ferrari's upgrade. It highlighted several weak areas of SF24 EVO. The first one is adaptability issues due to sudden change in track temperatures, which is the major turning point for Mercedes. Their car adapt to the situation very well and rapidly, hence the strong light times. The second weakness was less downforce being observed by both the drivers in high speed corners. To overcome these issues, Ferrari introduced the second part of upgrades at Barcelona to fight with the issues faced at Canadian GP. With the new package, Ferrari were able to find the downforce. However, it welcomed unwanted bouncing issues, which was unexpected and it was happening in high speed corners, which means the updates brought were working properly, but it added a massive downforce, which created bouncing and hampering the performance of the car. Reason of this massive downforce is still unknown and as per Ferrari's team principal, Fred Vasseur, rather than correcting the issues with upgrades, they want to understand the car more and better, due to which they ran different spec of cars at practice sessions of British GP. He also added that correlation between the data received from wind tunnel CFD is not matching with the in-track performance and they have used British GP practice session to identify the issues causing bouncing and as per him, team is able to find the issues and however, it will take some time to cure it with the upgrades. At Hangaro Ring, team will use old spec car as the track doesn't have high speed corners as compared to Silverstone. As per F1 experts, floor and suspension setup plays a crucial role in eradicating bouncing and they think that Ferrari needs to come up with a new floor and some changes in front and rear suspensions. Ferrari suspension setup is different from the likes of Red Bull and McLaren push and pull rod system. This could be another point of view that is helping rivals more than Ferrari cause Ferrari recently changed its aerodynamic parts a lot which are not complementing suspension setup both at the front and rear. I guess if Ferrari is able to overcome this bouncing effect then it could give a tight fight to McLaren's and Red Bull. At Monaco GP, points difference between Ferrari and Red Bull was 30 points and to McLaren it was 62 points. Since then, there is a lot of difference. Gap to Red Bull increased to 77 points, knowing the fact that Red Bull is earning with only one driver and gap to McLaren decreased to only two points. Ferrari's main driver, Charles Leclerc, is having nightmares. Out of four races, he was able to score points only in one race. In Canada, he was DNF. In Austria and Silverstone, he was not able to finish in top 10. What I think is, in these hard times, every points earned is very crucial to remain in the constructor fight. Rather, going for aggressive strategies, which have high probability of negatives, should be avoided. At Canadian GP, risk of taking hard tires is understandable as there was nothing to lose. However, at British GP, it seemed foolish as Charles was running in points and keeping in mind the current performance of the car, all points scored are crucial for the team. However, they just went aggressive and killed the race for Charles. Let me know what do you think of the aggressive strategy used by Ferrari. In last four races, including sprint, Charles earned only 12 points. Nico Hulkenberg from Haas scored more points than him. Performance of that Haas looks good after the upgrade package. This team has almost 50% less employees than Ferrari and people with big names at Ferrari. However, Haas still outqualified Ferrari in British GP qualifying. In Spanish GP, Gasly and Albon were able to overtake Charles and with the new tires, Charles was unable to overtake Bottas in Sauber. This shows lack of performance and failure in strategy. If Ferrari needs to fight for the constructors, they should eliminate all these things ASAP. They need to be at their best in everything they do. Problems are not yet over at Ferrari. Enrico Cardell, Ferrari's technical director of chassis, has left and will join Aston Martin. This is a major blow for Ferrari now as he was the key member of the team 
which brought the latest upgrade at Spain, which failed to deliver. Fred Vasseur will take up his role for the moment. Last year, Ferrari's deputy team principal, Lauren Mackey's, was taken by RB and now Enrico Cardell. Two big names have left along with several other members of the team. Employees leaving at the crucial part of the season could be affected in all the aspects. Until further upgrades, we cannot expect any performance gain from Ferrari. And as per Fred Vasseur, it will come post-Hungary GP. As per latest rumor, it is said to be that Ferrari will come with Spain spec at Hungary and at Spa they will revert back to Imola spec. This shows that at both the races, they won't be as competitive as they used to be. I guess after summer break, Ferrari will come up with the upgrades at home race. Guys, that's all for today. Let me know your views on today's video. See you all in my next video. Until then, like, share, subscribe. Take care.